This story is about Mason, a soldier. He served in the military, always striving to be the best. After marrying Molly and having their daughter Kate, Mason and his team go on a mission to kill a dictator named President Juan in Paldonia. During the mission, tragedy strikes, leaving Mason feeling lost and struggling with PTSD. But he finds comfort in his family, especially his daughter Kate. One day, while taking Kate to school, she tells him about someone who tried to kiss her. Mason responds protectively before going to work. Mason works as a lawyer. But Mason isn't happy with his job, and he reminisces about his old military days. Mason's military comrade, Chris, arrives and Mason meets him. Chris says, you have to come with me, and I have something to tell you, and from there, both go to Chris's agency. Chris tells Mason that I have opened a security agency where we provide security to people all over the world. But I am looking for a special person, a reporter is going to interview President Juan in Paldonia, and I want you to go as her bodyguard. Mason says that I cannot do this, and there Chris says I know, it's quite challenging for you that he killed all our teammates, but I'll give you $20,000, and you just have to finish that interview in one day and come back. Mason asks who I have to take with me, and then Chris says that take the reporter named Claire. Mason searches Claire on internet and sees her receiving an award. But the next day, it turns out that her sources were false. She faces a lot of humiliation. When they get home, Molly says that Kate broke a boy's jaw and claimed that Mason taught her that. Mason says that he didn't say such a thing, and Molly accuses him of always messing things up. Mason then goes to Kate and tells her that whatever she did, she did right. He leaves from there, and Molly asks, Where are you going? To which Mason replies, I have got a one-day security job. Mason leaves from there and meets Claire. Later on the flight, Mason watches her interviews that are old and funny, and then Claire asks, Are you keeping an eye on me? To which Mason says, I was just looking. Both of them arrive at Paldonia, where President Juan meets Claire and says, You are even more beautiful in real life, and they set off where one shows them to the people of that city, saying, the people here love me a lot. Suddenly, there are explosions, and their security cars start flying. Mason gets scared by these things, and then the soldiers come and start firing. Mason regains consciousness and rushes forward, driving away from the explosions, saving them both from the terrorists. They move forward from there and enter the jungle. Mason uses the satellite phone to call Chris and informs him that they are under attack, trapped in the jungle. He mentions sending his people there. Juan asks for the phone, and Mason gets agitated by this. On the other side, Juan's nephew Pablo appears before us, and he prepares to take Juan's place. There, their war generals are also present, and then Pablo gets a call from Juan, which shocks him knowing that he is alive. He asks where they are and then Juan says that we are stuck in the jungle. Pablo says, I can do something there. And the general there says that this time he won't survive. On the other hand, Juan says that my nephew Pablo is sending people here. Mason says that we won't stay with you, as I don't trust your people, and then he moves forward with Claire. Mason says that Juan is quite dangerous, and Claire says that my career is sinking, and only if I interview Juan, it can benefit me and there comes a helicopter, and two people come down from it. If you are still enjoying this video, please subscribe to my channel. They attack Mason and Claire, then both of them run away from there. Mason sits in one place and takes control of the situation. He shoots down the entire helicopter with a sniper rifle. Then, as they advance, a soldier ambushes them. Mason catches him and eliminates him on the spot but another soldier catches Mason and tries to kill him. Juan comes from behind and finishes him off. After a few hours, Pablo comes there and surveys the entire helicopter, and he shakes hands with the rebel leader Jamie. Jamie comes and says, We have to kill him at any cost. On the other side, Mason and Claire are sitting, and then Claire says, You are quite good, and I apologize for before. Then Mason says, I have been here before where my entire team was killed last time. Claire says that Chris said you're the best, and he was right. Mason is happy about it. After a while, Juan brings them to a nearby village, where they meet the locals. He says, I'm from this village too. 
After a while Claire interviews Juan there, where Claire asks about the big attack on him and who might have done it. Juan says that our country is quite small, but the things here are important for many other countries, and that's why people from all over the world want to control our power. I just want to keep my people safe. I want to serve our people with the things of our country, and there is a chemical named Levinas in the sand of our place, which can make mobiles, cars, and other electronic devices even better. Because of this, other countries are interested here, and I refuse to give them this thing, so now they all want to kill me. People are quite happy. At night, Juan throws quite a big party with his friends, where they drink and dance and enjoy with all the people. Next day, Mason comes out and calls Chris on the phone, and he says, Did you send me here to kill Juan? Chris says, That's not true. In fact, it's Juan's people who want to kill him, and I was told to send you there by some other people, including many big names. Mason hangs up the phone and calls Kate at home and says, I love you a lot. He says, I'll be back very soon. Molly comes on the phone and Mason says, Thank you for always taking care of me and Kate. Molly tells him to come home as soon as possible. From there, Mason goes to Juan and Claire and says that they need to leave because it's dangerous there too. Jamie arrives with many soldiers and asks the villagers where Juan is, threatening them all. Seeing this, Juan gets angry and advances. Mason then arrives there on horseback, he approaches Juan, and he takes him away from there. Jamie fires shots at them, and both of them flee from there. But Jamie catches Claire there, and then Jamie tells her, You may be quite famous, but people will never find out about your death. Claire gets quite scared. On the other hand, Juan and Mason move forward, with Juan saying, Wherever we go, there's danger. Mason says, Your own people want to get you killed. Juan says, I know about the death of your American team, who came here before with you but I didn't kill them. It was your government who did that to scare me. Juan says he knows an old friend who can help them. The next day, Juan meets his friend named Bobby, and he says that Pablo has taken over the office with General. Juan says, we have to take back that place no matter what. We also have to rescue Claire. After a while, Mason stands at a place, and there Jamie brings Claire. Mason says, leave Claire alone, and they both take out their guns there. Mason calls Juan there, and Juan comes there with all the supporters of his city. They also set fire, which scares Jamie and his people. Claire frees herself by hitting a guard there and Mason and Juan take her and leave from there. Juan takes both of them through a cave path to the office building, where they meet Pablo in the office. Seeing Juan, he gets quite scared. Juan says, there's no need for both of us to do this. Pablo understands and apologizes to his uncle, and Claire starts recording these things. Meanwhile, the general arrives and shoots Juan, killing both Juan and Pablo. Juan survives due to his bulletproof jacket, but Pablo dies. This makes Juan very sad, and all the soldiers come to capture Juan. And he says, I am your president, where this country belongs to you, and you guys are not terrorists, but you were given the wrong orders. Jamie comes with his soldiers, and then Juan says, our enemies are behind you, and fight begins among all those people, and they all come down from there. Soldiers and thugs are all killing each other, and Mason helps in killing the thugs. Claire records everything there with Juan, and upstairs, Mason advances and catches and kills all the soldiers. But then Jamie comes, who attacks Mason heavily, and he struggles with him. Claire saves Mason by hitting Jamie on the head. One by one, Mason takes down all the enemies. Meanwhile, Chris also arrives from outside with his team, and they enter, taking control of everything. Mason is happy to see them there, and all the thugs start to flee from there. After a while, all of Claire's footage is combined and shown in the media along with Juan's interview, revealing the truth to the world. Claire becomes quite famous for bringing Juan's truth in front of the world. Juan prepares to bid them farewell from there and praises them both before going to the media, which Molly and Kate also see at home. Two days later, Mason comes home and brings a gift for Kate, who is very happy. He meets Molly and tells her that he missed her a lot and loves her very much. The next day, Mason receives a call from Juan saying I sent you a gift, which confuses Mason. 
Then he goes to the ATM to withdraw money, and there he finds $55 million in his bank account. Mason is shocked to see this and happily comes out. He gets into his car and shares the news with his family in the car.